Hello there. Uh, I'm Thakya Madhilias. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, an issue that uh, was solved a few days ago. Mm, it's about uh, multi-domain support of module and uh, we may know that module uh, is the most popular open source web application for LMS. Uh, so few weeks ago uh, I was assigned to solve a, um, an issue uh, to uh, give a support uh, for multiple domain um, let's say I have uh, two or three domains and um, I had to uh, redirect or uh, load each and every domain with the same uh, model instance so let's try to uh, demonstrate this um, I already installed module uh, in my uh, two domains subdomains one is m1bd4.com and another one is m2bd4.com um, there are uh, two part of this uh, integration first part was uh, your nginx configuration and uh, second part uh, is the module config file configuration so um, let's start with the nginx configuration um, so uh, i am in my nginx directory uh, let's see the uh, nginx config of m1bd4.com Sorry. Uh, here you can see uh, everything as simple, everything same as the default uh, model uh, Nginx configuration. Mm, uh, line number five, uh, you can say, uh, see the uh, root directory www slash www root slash m on bd4.com uh, this was this is the uh, m1.bd4.com uh, engineering configuration uh, so let's see the uh, other domain configuration so uh, we may get that configuration too to get the details yes this is the um, uh, m2.bd4.com everything is same except uh, the root directory uh, both domain root directory should be same as it is uh, so this is the part of nginx uh, so let's see the um, part of uh, Model config PSP configuration. So uh, here is the model config dot PSP file. Uh, mm, we have to change the cache directory and www root uh, here. Uh, so suppose you have mm, two or three domains. So uh, mm, you, you you may take dot domain list as a array and uh, uh, verify that uh, uh, those domains uh, request from um, the global function uh, server server name and so if you uh, find the server name uh, to find the server name uh, into that uh, domain array you may proceed and uh, set that server name as your default domain um, otherwise uh, if uh, you uh, fail to uh, find the specific domain name uh, according to the domain array then uh, it will redirect uh, to the default domain 
my default domain is m1.guruko.com and the and here I uh, uh, just checked I checked the uh, domain name in that area and uh, after that I uh, mentioned I define the cache directory dynamically according to that domain name and also the double double root just like this so after saving this uh, it works uh, like as expected uh, so here it is the m on the info.com and here is the m to the info.com so let's try to uh, uh, log in into this okay this is the m on the info.com and uh, let's try to log in here That's it. Uh, everything is fine and clear. Uh, one more thing uh, you should remember is that uh, simply uh, we can uh, parse the catch using CLI or uh, uh, admin uh, admin uh, dashboard. Uh, if you integrate the multiple multi-domain uh, support in model, uh, you should avoid using your CLI. Mm because uh, it does not work properly if you use CLI to do parse cache so um, the best way to do the parse cache is to log into your domains and uh, as the admin and uh, go to the development tab and parse cache uh, to clear the cache so uh, that's it for all uh, if you have any question uh, feel free to make a comments and uh, I will try to explain in details thank you